Hello together, my name is Raymond and I will show you uh, in this little video tutorial how to do modifications on images and objects of uh, on Windows Universal applications. So uh, primarily said, okay, it's zooming and swiping of images. So what we have here for a first to go in there and to sh show what I want uh, to demonstrate you is the zoom. Zoom is quite easy here. So this uh, neg negative and positive zoom and I will show you uh, moving images, so wiping or uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So it's a positive and neg negative, negative zoom and beautiful isn't it and that's really uh, done easy uh, easy by um, the windows universal application windows U uwp so <clears throat> what we have here <clears throat> in our example is we don't need this one anymore we have here uh, that's our saml uh, document and we have here an image obje object that's what you see here uh, when we were running the application and inside the uh, image object or uh, the image tag there we have to implement a small tag which is called uh, render transform image dot image dot render transform and then the inside the render transform we have the uh, sub element composite transform uh, and I gave it a name, so it's uh, the name sub sub name of this uh, transformation part is image transform. So what does it do? Uh, the image itself is shown here, but uh, Microsoft did a, a, a small sub layer there where the real rendering happens. So this is the uh, this is the output, the rendered output. And this is the image, uh, the control itself, the image, the information which is there. So that's uh, and usually you have this one, and this works fine. But if you want to modify it, then you take this sub uh, text. So, <clears throat> and I implemented here the point of wheel changed event. So I think you know how to how to do that. Just to say pointer wheel changed and then equals and then uh, there comes a new event handler okay so and now when we go to this event uh, here remember there's a render transform and now when we go to this event go to definition it's written in German then we are here now in our uh, wheel change event so this is when what happens with when i scroll the wheel point of wheel changed now what we do here is we take uh, the information how much was the wheel change was it moving to the frontward or to the backward yeah back side so and, and then when we take uh, and we take this information do some modification and we then we say the information uh, the, this render uh, render transform here it's this image transform dot uh, re image transform with a property uh, <coughs> scale then we say we say we get we give it a new scale we say okay the new scale is in that transform scale it's the scale for the x um, uh, horizontal and vertical so we say so we have we can zoom it we can stretch it as, as absolutely easily rotation rotation translate x is uh, shifting yeah and <coughs> what we do here is we uh, I take the information of the wheel point this is uh, the uh, argument e this is here pointed event uh, rooted event arcs e from e the current point where i'm act actually on my uh, image over my image so this is my point over my image 
with the property uh, mouse wheel delta. So this gives values between 120 plus or minus in my case. I don't know if it's all, everywhere the same. And then I say, okay, when the scroll wheel goes positive, if it's uh, positive, then make a zoom factor by 1.2. So it's 20% zoom or less 20%. So make it 100% or 120 or, or only 80%. And then I say, okay, this is uh, the actual zoom scale, if it's already zoomed 500% or five per, uh, scale 5, when we have the scale 5 and want a scale to 6, so it's uh, we have to add it. So we have the new scale is the actual scale plus the delta of the scroll. And then we say uh, uh, the new in the transform uh, transformation or rendering marks matrix here in render transform uh, we want the new scale there it is so now when I run this <coughs> you will see this is absolutely easy it's when I scroll my mouse positive or negative positive for example to the front then it's uh, decreasing to when I scroll the mouse to, mouse to the other side then I have the other uh, the other um, direction now we we want to have a look on the uh, wiping or moving or shifting of, of an image it's also very easy um, <clears throat> for this case we need the same. That's why I'm explaining it in the same video. We have the manipulation mode it, the, uh, of this uh, element. We say here my manipulation mode of my image is translate x, uh, translate uh, y and the scale may be, might be modified either by the mouse or by by the fingers, if you have a, a touchpad, or maybe with maybe with the ink, I don't know, uh, with, with this new ink with the, where the build 2016 is today, they have this beautiful ink tool, so it's a a pen. Um, yeah, <coughs> now this that's the translate uh, the translate X when we go there, and if I say. Uh, alt alternate uh, key plus enter then I have the uh, the properties of my image here then I see here we have the zoom mode automatically layout where's it interaction uh, the manipulation mode now here we see it's positive uh, possible to take the translate X translate uh, Y and be rotate that's also easy scale that's all what you need the other one is uh, always um, mixed mode and also all that stuff now uh, to say um, to give a multiple property so translate X or Y is here um, separated by um, comma I, th I don't know if comma is the right word and here X Y and Z X Y Z and then we uh, we implement the <coughs> the event manipulation started. Then what happens while uh, while we are modifying? So that's the delta, and then manipulation completed, and that's all what we need. Now we go there uh, on the back side. We have here the manipulation started what we saw there it's I found this example also somewhere on the internet we say okay uh, when it starts we, s we give the image itself not the render image but the ima image itself itself uh, opacity so it's um, a light shade of gray or white and at the end when it's completed we have to set uh, reset it back to 
uh, opacity one, so it's uh, transparent. Uh, not transparent, so, so that the colors are uh, hundred percent. So that's better to say. And now this is very easy. It's when the manipulation happens, then we have uh, to say, okay, the argument here, the e delta, the delta of my actual modification, e dot argument here, uh, is the delta. There's also an, a lot of other other stuff where I, where I is my actual police, uh, uh, position, my velocity, how fast am I wiping, for example, and then we need here the uh, translation expansion when you are uh, doing something like this, and there the x x here or the y, and then we say to the to the existing translation. Uh, to the existing shift, I want want some more shift. The actual more shift. This is always only a, a small amount. Uh, so <clears throat> that's when when I start that. Dum -dum -dum. Then you will see da -da -da -dum -dum -dum. when I have now my uh, image here. When as soon as I now I click the mouse. And as soon as I wipe it to the left side, uh, then we get this um, the translation here. Here it is. <coughs> we have here a value by minus three point something else, and this minus three point something else is added to my actual position which is at the moment at, at the beginning zero so all we have to do is this little uh, code and this code works absolutely beautiful and fine so I hope I could uh, give you an idea how this works and in my next tutorial I will show you how to get um, a fixed position there because uh, we have only a uh, moving shifting end but some it's quite good but uh, with a bit a little bit more calculation you get it uh, stable on there if you like it take a button